they're on the same team because they do have history with each other. And this is now just kind of sliding in Coco. So if, if newbie fans want to see the final form of their team, this is pretty much it. I expect this to be the strongest. All of these uh, pots ready to spare. Except Azriel actually has Battle of Fervor versus the Warlords. Interesting. Uh, mid lane, Storm Raiders. A thundering blow from Scout, and that will just completely delay and stop that gang from Swift. Maybe turned around, though, with the assist from Mouse from the top lane. Again, V using the TP coming down, and Scout caught within the Shadow Dash. Fire Lawyer will help finish as well. That's traded. A one for one, top laner for mid laner. He's going to bounce off more. And he's killing oh. from EDG. They were a bit slow on this rotation, and now they could possibly run into a uh, four man dive. The trap has come up, and Happy is caught in the bullet time. Mako picks up that kill, and it's Scout raining down. Terror from the mid lane. Shock Blast will allow Fire Lloyd to pick up the kill and the tower of EDG. So in the end... And that's a Corky cutting off the escape route from Scout. He's gonna bat him away and V somehow still lands the Shadow Dash and takes out Scout in the mid lane. Lots of damage from these AoE ultimates being posturing. More zoned away simply from Make It Rain, Fire Lolly. Uh, that was the pickup, but he's probably gonna pay for it with his life. There's nothing to jump towards. And V's also coming down right on top of Swift and also on top of Violoni for the kill. Mouse was there with the zoning up, but it's just areas of being part of a 5v5 comp as well as a poke comp. And here we go. This is looking like a good fight for EDG. They instantly zone out Happy and Moore is under attack, staying within that damage circle. But Scout called off to the side. He did not rejoin his team. So a one for one trade mid laner. Oh, his flash, but uh, fancy footwork coming through from Death's replacement oh, and a snipe. And a snipe onto his would be assassin. Well played. Uh, EDG were gifted everything last game and they still managed exactly. to throw it. Now Firewall is caught. And caught in the jungle. Like this, it, does, it writes itself. Still waiting in that bush. Uh, Coco did not see how to yank him and he still has the package. Oh, oh no. Oh, what, what even is that damage? But nice change of corruption from Happy. Swift will come out there as well, gets the knock up and the auto attack. Package out from Coco, who get involved in the fight, but he's forced back. Zet finds him. He's not good by Swift. Still has the flash. Takes out the ADC. This is going really wrong for EDG after that initial pick. And this is the difference between. Uh, man, then <laughs> EDG. Oh, Mako called out Strangle Fawn Swift. He's still caught up in that. He just needs a free seeker. Oh, Missile Barrage. That works too. Mako caught out. Still, lots of poke out from EDG. It seems regardless, they'll lose something from this. The cannon barrage comes down. Happy zoned out of the fight. Scout wants to assassinate him. This Baron's dropping very low. It's gonna come down to a spite war, and it goes over to Rek'Sai. Swift secures it with his dying breath. Zek gets called out. Coco coming in and sniped off to the side by Happy, who was still alive. But Mouse will take the inhib in return. They use the empowered recall so they won't lose next. Yep. Just on cooldown, couldn't see it for a second. So I was gonna say he could go down there because mm -hmm. he would have his Rek'Sai ultimate, but instead they just send their oh, uh, stand united. Someone died and it was more. <laughs> he was just rotating in the drum. It's that their uh, support really can't for them. I mean, what is Longsword doing here? But Mouse called out, Coco and V. Easy as you like, the probably easiest pick. Of but right now when they get a pick onto Mouse, a very valuable member, they can just walk up, take it away. Now you have this exposed in here and Swift, his job is to zone them away. Though he gets caught by Cocoon. Right about now, Wow. There you go. So in the end, a push from Newbie results in them losing it. I don't know. I mean, like, I haven't watched it, but <laughs> Mako knock up coming in here, and this could be 50 shades of death here for EDG. Zek getting followed down by V. Fantastic Shadow Dash will lock down a big carry. Scout's being pushed over. Mako, they're all so low. Throw a one hit. V chasing after. Coco, they need anything. Happy will find the fourth kill. And with the middle in here being exposed, this could be massive for Newbie. EDG overstep and just get obliterated by Coco, who has showed up so big on this Corky. You know, we said they're pinching or they're leaving the mid lane open, so they knew that Coco was going to go for the Corky. They had confidence that Scout would be able to deal with him I mean, in the Jace, but Coco has just been night and day superior here. This could be game right here. This is 100% serious. EDG are about to lose for the first time in over a year. Newbie are on to the Nexus Towers. Only Mouse is surviving. He has to pull off a miracle play, and it's just not gonna happen. Miniway flooding in here. Five for one. Coco's the only one down. Newbie head on to the Nexus and take down EDG. The first competitive series loss in over a year. Newbie slay EDG. And they fall off their pedestal to Newbie, a team that many are regarding.